Hey guys, welcome to a new LP. There we go. A Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Who was that? That was Neil Cortex. Crash Team Racing. As you can see there by the copyright thing, 1999, blah blah blah. And it's a wonderful creation at that. And let's see what breaks out of the box. Haha. Yeah. -ha. Do 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 do. So essentially, this was the Mario Kart 64 of the PS1. Was Crash Team Racing. There we go. Crash is holding a trophy. Gets a circle around him, and then CTR shoved right into his chest. Okay. Um. There's actually a. Uh, what is it? Where? There we go. If you go on the start menu, uh, if you hold down L1 and R1, and then go down, circle, triangle, right, you get yourself a nice demo. What is the demo of? If my screen will load, here we go. Insomniac Games, Universal Interactive Studios. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. You get to do a ge uh, demo of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage if you use that uh, code. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I want to get out of here. Take on huge new bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. On shelves, November 99. Uh, can I not do this? Fine, I'll choose Colossus, I guess. I don't, I don't care. I just wanted to show you that you could end up getting a Spyro Ripto's Rage demo. Alright. And exit level. Hopefully that will bring me back. I guess not. So, uh, reset the PS3. Or PS2, I should say. Because I'm using that. Alright, Sony Computer Entertainment, blah 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 blah. And, uh, so this is gonna be, I think, the final percentage that you can get. And this is a 101. Final percent. Uh, yeah, let's go to Bandipedia. And what is it? Yeah, we already got this, dude. Blah, blah, blah. Um... In your seat or another 102% it says Oh no I miss I'm guessing it's only 101 102 seems to be a cheat So 101% I guess All right Sweet so we ha we get a lot of different uh, things that we can do: adventure, time trial, arcade, versus, uh, battle, and high score. Uh, as of right now, for this LP purpose, it's only going to be the adventure. So, uh, new adventure. All right, loading. We get ourselves a nice wavy flag background. All right, so we get Crash Bandicoot. Neo Cortex, Tiny the Tiger, Coco Bandicoot, Engine, which is um, the evil side to Coco in the ways of this racing game by the stats. Dingo Dial, which is uh, Tiny, and then we have Polar. And Pura, which are the opposites. Uh, I'm just going to pick Crash because I'm boring. And my name is Ryan. There we go. And save. Uh, top left, why not? Alright, save completed. Alright, so, I mean, hey, our first racing game. It's not all about platformers or 
uh, stealth or anything like that. And we get Aku Aku to talk to us. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck, and drive fast. All right, so just, you know, basics of racing game. Uh, X is accelerate. Uh, square is just brake. I could have swore that you... Okay. Um, R2 does that camera angle. L2 does that camera angle. L1 and R1 make you hop. I could have swore... Oh, just pressing back makes you go backwards. I thought it would have been square. Yeah, square is just a uh, brake. So, oops. You must have a boss key to open this door. You can race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat the boss in a boss race, and a key is your prize. All right. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, though. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, so this will show us every single level, even though we haven't been to anything. Uh, CTR tokens, which I'll explain those later. Relics, which we dealt with in Crash Warped, so we pretty much know what those do. Ah, uh, Gemstone Valley, blah, yeah, and so then, like, the overworlds with all theirs, and options, yeah, I definitely want the music up, sound effects up, voice up, stereo, DualShock controller with vibrate on, yes, I would like that, please, exit, uh, resume the game, so yeah, um, overworlds are pretty simple, uh, if you end up, uh, jumping and then uh, holding down the jump, you will end up doing a power slide there, which is pretty nice. And this is where you save the game. So, This is the load save screen. There are five of these screens, one in each world section. When you want to load or save a game, go to one of these screens. To access it, drive up to the screen and stop. Then, follow the directions. Alright, so, there was that. And so, anyway, like I was saying, if you end up jumping and then holding down uh, L1 or R1, you'll end up doing a power slide. And if you press circle at the right time, I could have swore it was circle. Nope. Okay, why isn't it working? Well, I could have swore it was circle. Huh. Interesting. Nope. Okay, can't figure it out. But anyway, uh, you're supposed to be able to do like a boost there. So uh, let's just go into Crash Cove. Let's get one level in this video. Uh, you know, start it off, get a feel for the game, basics, all that. I haven't played this in quite a long time. I'm not the biggest fan of racing games. I do own a couple, such as Crash Team Racing. I also own Diddy Kong Racing and a few more. Um, I'll, I'll piece of those I might end up doing. Ah, I didn't get the boost off that I wanted. Can I do analog stick? I can, but I think I might want the... Okay, why can't I do that? Interesting. Could have swore that it was press circle and you'll be able to get a boost. Alright, so, uh, just like in Crash Team Racing, or not Crash Team Racing, Mario Kart 64, you get certain items. So, and these are basically Crash Bandicoot related items, so... Aw, give me that. There we go. Pressing circle will stop the item select uh, quicker. That way you can get your item uh, sooner. Again, X is essentially what you need to do. Oh, triangle switches it between uh, map and a speed thing, which also tells you how high you end up jumping, too. Uh, what else? Yeah, that changes camera angle. Oh, holy crap, I'm in first. Uh, once you get 10 Wumpa Fruit, you get power up. So your weapon becomes stronger, which is pretty good. I gotta figure out how to do that boost, because I'm watching Scruffy Kid uh, 100. 
he's doing this out, or he was doing this out. I don't know if he is uh, anymore. I have to take a look at his channel. And he's able to do boost. Oh, there we go. It's uh, L1 while you're power siding with holding R1, so that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so, the, like, these races will not take that long, so, like, we have, uh, wow. what, two minutes for this race, so... Haha! -ha. And boom, there we go, look at that. 155.33. Not too bad for the first race. And so you come into first... Uh, you come in first, as Aku said, you end up getting a trophy. And those trophies you need to unlock more levels, to get to the bosses, to end up furthering the game. Those are the ones that you have to collect. And so we get this nice little, um, champions thing. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know what to call, I don't really know what that thing is called. Where it's got, like, the f best three people. And so, boom, we got a trophy. You win a trophy. Thank you, Aku. And now we get Aku to talk again. The more Wampa Fruit you collect, the faster your card will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wampa Fruit, you'll be juiced up, and your power-up will become more potent. Alright, so uh, that's essentially what I explained, except for I didn't know that it sped your car up. That's actually pretty good. Um, essentially, it makes your weapons more powerful, and that's the important thing. Alright, so yeah, it's L1, and you want to do it when that little bar below the map uh, is hitting red. So, as such. And then you, if you get uh, three consecutive ones, you will get a super boost on the third one. So, uh, we're going to stop it here. These videos are not going to be long. These videos are going to be like 12 to 15 minutes. They're not going to be entirely long. Uh, and we will end up going into the next level, which I believe is Ruse Tubes. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this LP. I am, because this is a great game. And I'll see you back here for more uh, Crash Team Racing. Bye.